Once upon a time, in the city of Easy Street, there was a small, nondescript coffee shop called Easy Beans. It was owned by a young woman named Emily, who inherited the shop from her father. One day, a strange customer walked into Easy Beans. He was a tall man, with a scar on his forehead and a mysterious air about him. He ordered a black coffee and sat down at a table in the corner. Emily couldn't help but notice that he was staring at her intently. As the days went by, the mysterious man became a regular at Easy Beans. He would always order a black coffee and sit in the same corner table, staring at Emily with the same intense gaze. She began to feel uneasy around him, but she couldn't quite put her finger on why. One day, Emily arrived at the coffee shop to find it ransacked. The cash register had been emptied, the coffee machines had been smashed, and the walls were covered in graffiti. She immediately called the police, and they arrived shortly after to investigate. As the investigation unfolded, Emily discovered that the mysterious man who had been visiting the shop was actually a notorious criminal who had been using easy beans as a front for his illegal activities. The police were able to track him down and arrest him, and Emily was left to pick up the pieces of her shattered business. But with determination and hard work, Emily was able to turn things around. She renovated the coffee shop and rebranded it as Easy Street Coffee, focusing on high-quality, locally-sourced coffee and a welcoming atmosphere. And thanks to her efforts, Easy Street Coffee Company became a beloved community institution known for its delicious drinks and friendly service. As the story of Easy Beans faded into memory, the people of Easy Street looked to Easy Street Coffee Company as a shining example of resilience and perseverance in the face of adversity. And Emily, the owner, became a symbol of the strength and determination that defined the spirit of the city. The end.